supplies us with bacon and tomato. They're connected to us via MPLS connections. They have routers in our DMZ that they control, our business to business DMZ that they control. And we're going to try to configure an SRX box to take the place of a checkpoint or ASA firewall while collapsing routing and security zones with virtual routers and security into one box while maintaining high availability, high performance, and high security. So we have our router here. I'm going to do show routes. You're going to see I have several routes configured here. OSPF routes, a 192.168. That goes back to our core. Let's take a look at our core. This is our BLT core router. It's an SRX210 running Junos 10.0 R310. Show routes. If I can remember to complete the sentence. There are some several routes I created uh, for the purpose of this uh, demo. That's pointing to a null interface. I've got OSPF configured. with uh, one interface area zero with a default uh, a simple export policy saying export all directly attached and static interfaces to OSPF that's all I have there are no other routes on this box all the statics and that's it so next we're going to show you our back to our B2B firewall here and you'll see that the B2B firewall is also an SRX210 There's no routing options. There are no routes on here. The only protocol we're running is OSPF. We're not advertising any routes yet into OSPF. And we are not receiving any routes from anybody else except for our core. Now, we do have three interfaces. And we're going to add some descriptions to those. Interfaces, GE. There's one description. And the first interface, this is actually going to connect the bacon tomato. And our other interface on the bottom, the fast Ethernet. It's connecting to lettuce. Now, let's go take a look at our partner routers. We normally wouldn't have access to these in a production network, but since we're doing the lab, it's helpful to see how they're configured. Let's go down. This is Lettuce. It's a J2300 connected to our, our this is acting as our MPLS router. Let's do show configuration. Interfaces. You see there's just one interface. Let's take a look at the routing options. Again, I have static routes pinned up to give us something to do. I also have an AS number defined here. Uh, and the other thing I have running is BGP. I have uh, one one neighbor, which is, uh, which is BLT Corporation. They've got a simple export policy assigned, and they have a neighbor address. So let's take a look at the policy. The policy says to export all static routes from 10.125.1.0 through 10.125.5.0 and you'll see that that leaves out six uh, we did this on purpose to show that you can filter routes that you send into BGP and that's how you do it the next partner connection that we have is bacon tomato which is also running an SRX210. Before we configure that, it might be helpful to start configuring the other side of this connection. So, let's go back to our B2B BLT, which is our B2B firewall. And let's go to uh, show security zones. Right now I have one zone for trust and one zone for untrust, and all the interfaces are in the trust zone. This allows us to do s simple things like 77 to test out connectivity. We do have connectivity. So the next thing I want to do is create a security zone for lettuce. Security zones. I'm going to add that 
interface there I'm also going to allow BGP to communicate over that and as well as the ping service ICMP echo and echo reply and echo request so that we can test connectivity throughout the uh, system here I'm also going to do the same thing for bacon tomato and I'm also going to allow BGP and ping the next thing I have to do is go back to the trust interface delete those other interfaces out of there so we don't have an error when we try to commit the changes and let's run a commit check on that real quick we'll commit those changes Now the next thing we have to do is create a, now that we have our individual security zones created, which was important, because now we can create the virtual routers. So we're going to set, the first thing we have to do is set our routing options, set our autonomous system number to 65,000. If we go back to Lettuce real quick. We'll see the autonomous system is 65002. We'll configure Lettuce first. Set routing instances. Instance type. There's several types. VRF for MPLS. Forwarding for filter-based forwarding, which is the equivalent of route maps. Some other things there. We want virtual router. And we want to use that interface right there. The other thing that we want to do is go into routing options set our autonomous system to 65,000 and we want to set our protocols BGP group call the group lettuce P set our PRAS as 65002 neighbor address I have to look up again the neighbor was 77.77.6.2 and our export policy for that neighbor was export BGP to lettuce show routing instances lettuce so we have our and we called that export BGP lettuce term first term in the term from protocol OSPF from instance master We have some options here. We normally want accept. So there's our policy options. Let's do a commit check on this. Mm 